And we're back. Was trying to think of something fancy to say for the intro, but truth is, like, I am freaking smashed after travel. I don't want to be down here. I don't want to talk to the camera. I don't want to train. I want to go to freaking bed. And I think that the only real goal of this session is going to be to figure out what the bare ass minimum is that I can do to get myself moving a little better, feeling a little bit better and not do any more than that so that I can get to bed at a decent hour. And so I can feel a little bit fresher tomorrow and hopefully a little bit fresher for Friday's bench. So let's get rolling. <clears throat> and go in reverse grip angle on the American Cambridge bar again. And no idea what I'm going to do set and rep count. I'm just going to try to do some sets of some reps and we'll see where we end up. Oh, empty bar feels heavy. Ah, big stretch. See if I can dig in a little bit harder for this one. redo with that because that first rep felt like freaking shit. And the sooner I can make these feel decent, the sooner I get to go to bed. A little better. There we go. Shoulders starting to wake up. really want this to be the last set, so let's try to do okay. And that's off to a great start, staggering around the pin. Oh, I hate this fucking... Because this bar is like narrow, the plates will hit the end of the pin on the combo rack, which can be really sketchy sometimes. And instead of running shoulder saver like we did last week, what I think I'm gonna do is keep her light, flip the bar over to the reduced range of motion setting, 
I just got a couple sets of a couple reps in here. I've actually never used this bar this direction before. Well, we'll give her a whirl. I am at least feeling more awake at this point. And because I can tell that the shoulder does not want to rotate at all, I'm gonna run some kettlebell overheads where I'm not doing like a full on Arnold, but I'm letting it kind of come down beside, letting it kind of almost try to pull the forearm outwards, just to get a little bit of ER stretch through that shoulder because like the worst part about flying as a big dude is that you're stuck in the seat like that rolled into IR for the entire duration and it just feels like shit the day after. <sighs> 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 and these actually feel really nice so happy with this choice. Try to keep the elbow ahead now. <clears throat> and this time I'm going to try to keep the left elbow more driven forward as best as I can the entire time. And that makes it that little bit nastier through the shoulder capsule. Oh yeah. That's the spot. That got hard fast. That's what she said. I think I'm still going to run real dumbbell overheads Friday, but this felt appropriate for how bench felt. And I figure I'm gonna finish up with two body weight supersets here on the blast straps. First one gonna be a wide blast strap push up, really trying to load into that pec where she is sensitive. Almost make it kind of sort of a fly, but I don't wanna do too much of a real fly because that would be sketchy right now at this point with the pack but goal is just to get a little bit of pack loading in get a nice little bit of squeezy squeeze try to get it feeling at least okay and once we achieve that feeling of feeling at least okay what we're gonna do this is taking longer to burn out than i thought it would but stick with me here at least we're getting into like more width as we're going which is sweet okay that's enough but now that they're kind of burnt out little manual blast strap tricep extension trying to almost like drop the elbows under the handle nice big stretchy stretch Nice big squeezy squeeze. 
And like, yeah, as far as building a bench, I don't know how much this is going to help me, but as far as making the pecs, the elbows, the shoulders feel nice, that's all I need to do today is just feel nice. So we're going to do our best to feel nice. I think we're going to go straight into those wide, flyy, push-up-y things again. This probably looks so lame on YouTube. I'm sorry, guys, but we got to do what we got to do today. <sighs> like we're making the sacrifice so that we can have a better Friday press and not embarrass ourselves on bench for the like 17th freaking week in a freaking row. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Don't can't forget about the second half of the superset. Yeah, this is nice. I'm okay with this. And this is my in need of a deload, but still want to do something for my upper back superset. So we're going to start off with face pulls on the blast straps. And once these burn out, or you can just kind of alternate reps, we can go into some rows and do some reps here. Can you go back to face pulls, do some reps here. But basically, we're just going to go back and forth, going from face pulls to rows, from rows back to face pulls, until it gets really hard on the lats, on the upper back, on the rear delts, and everything just feels nice and lovely and juicy and pumped. And yeah, you get the point at this point. That burned out quick today. And one more round of these suckers and doing them like in clusters of reps for each like makes it almost a freaking disgusting sort of rest pause set by the very end of it. So yeah, I think this is my favorite way to run them. Just alternating every handful of reps from the row back to the face pull. And like on the row, trying to drive elbows low on the face pull, trying to drive elbows wide. Oh, we're burning out. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's, that's difficult. And I was really tempted to be the guy that skips his ab work today, but I'm also really glad that I am not the guy who skipped ab work today. And like, we are doing a relatively easy movement and goal here is really just to get a nice squeeze in that spinal flexion, hold that stretch position, feel a little bit of erector stretch in the bottom. And again, like this is more range of motion access right now than it is strength training, but I got a squat and I got a pull tomorrow. So having a little bit of lumbar spine lubrication is definitely not going to be a terrible thing for me. And I'm really going to have to make sure that I'm on the hip and knee prep through work tomorrow morning, just to make sure that I'm good to go in the hip and knee department before we get to the gym. Oh, that's enough for today. Well, Enough for that set. We got one more. Went up a little bit because even though it is a light day, doesn't mean I need to be a total pansy about it. And like the last set was way too light. I had to like really try to mind muscle connection it to make it kind of hard. So this was an appropriate move. All things considered. Oh. Plus now you guys wanted to watch me do it. 10 bajillion reps of standing abs. Because I'm sure this is very exciting stuff on your end. <sighs> 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 
Yeah. And that is that. And with how I feel physically, mentally, spiritually after that session, like, I can say that this was definitely a good one and definitely glad that I came down here for it. And, like, in a way, I almost feel bad for you guys for, like, vlogging a training session that is this boring and this minimal. But, like, the goal is to paint a realistic picture of how it actually looks and, like, not every day is going to be, you know, Instagram bangers. Not every day is going to be phenomenal. Not every day is going to be a total bag of rotten assholes like the weekend was. And, like, not every day needs to be exciting. And, like, even though this day definitely wasn't exciting, I can say that I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the experience of it. I enjoyed, like, feeling myself come back to life as the session went through and like that's always what i tell people is that when they feel like this like just get in there and do something if you can do something and you can just let it happen you're going to be able to leave the gym as a better human than when you walked in and like i think that after this weekend like i need to remember that no matter what the intent of the session is or what the goal of the session is or what it's supposed to be i need to make the overall goal probably a little bit closer to the overall goal that I had today where I just wanted to feel better than when I walked in the door and if I can keep that in mind and like keep the experience of the session in mind I think that's going to be how I have the best outcome closing out the tail end of this meet prep so guys thank you so much for watching again I apologize for the overall boringness and lack of excitement that took place here but I mean that's that's part of it. I'm going to vlog every training session. They're not all going to be sweet. So thank you again. Have a good rest of your night.